Si Joe Biden ang nanalo sa US presidential election 2020 at tinalo niya ang kasalukuyang pangulo na si President Donald Trump. Si Biden ay nakakuha ng mahigit sa 75 million na bonto samantalang si Donald Trump ay nakakuha naman ng mahigit sa 70 million na bonto. Ito ang mga naging pahayag ni Joe Biden sa kanyang victory speech na ginanap sa kanyang hometown sa Wellington, Delaware. The people of this nation have spoken. They've delivered us a clear victory, a convincing victory, a pledge to be a president who seeks not to divide, but to unify. I sought this office to restore the soul of America, to rebuild the backbone of this nation, the middle class, and to make America respected around the world again. For those of you who voted President Trump, I understand the disappointment tonight. I've lost a couple of times myself. But now, let's give each other a chance. It's time to put away the harsh rhetoric, lower the temperature, see each other again, listen to each other again. And to make progress, we have to stop treating our opponents as enemies. They are not our enemies, they are Americans. Let this era of demonization in America begin to end. This is the time to heal in America. On Monday, I will name a group of leading scientists and experts as transition advisors to help take the Biden-Harris plan and convert it into an actual blueprint that will start on January 20, 2021. Samantala, nag-release naman ng isang testimonial si former President Barack Obama tungkol sa pagkatao ni Joe Biden at pinakiusapan ng mga Americans na isang tagumuna ang kanilang political differences at bigyan ng pagkakataon si Biden at ito ang kanyang mga naging pahayag. When he walks into the White House in January, he'll face a series of extraordinary challenges no incoming president ever has. A ranging pandemic, an unequal economy and justice system, a democracy at risk, and a climate peril. I know he'll do the job with the best interest of every American at heart, whether or not he had their vote. The election results at every level shows that the country remains deeply and bitterly divided. It will be up to not just Joe and Kamala, but each of us to do our part, to reach out beyond our comfort zone, to listen to others, to lower the temperature and find some common ground. From which to move forward, all of us remembering that we are one nation, under God, dagdag ni Obama. Alam nyo ba na isinulat ni Joe Biden ang mga katagang From this house to the White House with the grace of God kasama ang kanyang pirma at ang date na 11-3-2020 sa dingding ng kanilang sala kung saan siya lumaki. Siya ang pang-46 na U.S. President at pinakamatandang naging presidente ng U.S. sa edad na 78 sa darating na November 